in there. You can buy that. <clears throat> Tilt it down a little bit. And um, let it hang there. And they'll, the bees will find it. And they'll empty that before uh, pollen starts going. Um, so it's pretty easy to make. As you can see, it's just three different parts of PVC. A couple screws in the top. A couple bucks. And... Uh, yeah, I just put two of them out, and they'll empty them, and it, it definitely helps the, the brood. Um, um, the beehives get bigger before stuff starts flowing. This is uh, Rosa Sharon. Uh, I guess these are all... I was growing. you got to get some cuts from this. And this is a red thistle uh, willow. No, a red, a red twig willow. And the deer just absolutely love it. It can hardly even grow. But anyhow, that's uh, a lot of weeds in here. But there's another, uh, I forget what that one is. I need to get some of those cuttings. And then I'm going to come out here on my spruce tree and get some of them. And then that's a... Uh, the cypress of some sort. I forget what it's called. I was going to try to grow little bonsai trees out of it, but I never can get it to sprout roots. I'll try it again this year. Um, but yeah, this thing here, I don't even know if it's still alive. I'll find out as if it starts to bloom. Um, but I'll get a bunch of these roses sharing. They make cool little bonsai trees because they flower. But anyhow, I'm going to get the other one of those things set out. It's been a nice day today, weather-wise. <clears throat> hey, sun's out. <laughs> um, bees are out. It's warm. Yeah, that, that hive is definitely alive right there, and I thought it was dead. I'm amazed. But anyhow. Okay. Well, we're out here sitting in the greenhouse. Getting the smoker lit. Sometimes getting the smoker lit can be a real pain, and you know what? Um, but usually with this grass, it stays lit pretty good. I went and got me a bag of it this morning. Uh, my compost pile has got up to. Looks like it's back up to sixty. It's it's it seems like it's been going up. It's sixty-seven. It's at sixty-seven. So we'll see what it does. It should do something. They say they say that it'll do something within, you know, pretty quick. So I don't know. Well, anyhow, we'll let this. Uh, um, we'll get this thing smoking. Then I'm gonna go out and uh, pop some lids and have a look. Maybe condense some boxes. What you gotta do in the springtime is you need to. They don't need all that space of all those big boxes because it's just a very usually it's a small cluster by springtime. So I just basically condense it down into one box. The smoke isn't doing me much good sitting in here. Um, <clears throat> sit there and smolder; it'll catch on. Um, so I'll condense things down and then take the boxes of comb and honey and stuff. That I got from last year and bring it inside and I'll clean up clean up the frames and, um, and then I'll extract any honey that's left um, I don't extract too much honey in the summer I let the bees keep it it's better for them if you ask me um, and I don't use poison on my bees so they need all the help they can get to fight the little bugs that get after them <clears throat> it seems to be working um, I haven't I, I lose the hives every year, but I always requeen. So I'll show you how I'll be making queens and doing some splits through summer, through spring and summer, um, and letting them just keep everything. Anything that's left over, because I usually have a hive that dies and leaves a whole box of honey. So I got that's more than enough um, for me. And I try to sell some, but I, I haven't ever been real. Um, um, aggressive about selling honey 
<clears throat> I might have to do that. Here's the future. I keep living longer than I thought I would. <laughs> so, needless to say, I'm going to get this started and um, go out there and pop some lids. And I'll try to do what I can one-handed. It's real dealing with bees. <laughs> um, you need to be paying attention to what's going on. It's real windy out here today. It's warm, but it's windy. And the wind doesn't make the bees the happiest. <laughs> So, and they'll fly all over and they get all over everything and they'll get underneath your clothes and crawl up your pants leg and all kinds of good stuff. Um, so we'll do that and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the bees. All right, well, we finally got the smoker going. Um, we're going to start with the first one in line. I think this one's dead. I think it is. Um, doesn't, doesn't mean it is, but... We'll go ahead and get some smoke in there. Um, the smoke, what smoke does is makes bees hungry. Um, I'll lay this down. I'm gonna have to lay that phone down a lot. I'll try to leave it on, but so you just have to hear me. And I'll try to show you when I can what's going on. Um, the bees that I'm seeing coming in and out of here could be robber bees and that's when I say robber bees it's not a certain kind of bee it's just a bee that from another hive who's out looking for food when there is none there's nothing blooming right now there might be some willow out there that's blooming at the moment um, and any time now the maple will come on maple is usually one of the first trees Smoker don't go out. <clears throat> I tend to leave my hive tool out in the yard because I lose them all the time. But we're gonna we're gonna look and see what's in here. Well, is my phone still running? I said I've been quiet. Well, top box. This frame is nothing but honey. So is that frame. So it looks like this is just a box of honey. Um, it doesn't look like it's alive. Um, I thought it might. I thought it might have died. Okay, got the first box off. Nothing but honey. And then it seems like I'm right. This hive did die. The bees that I'm seeing are robber bees. So we'll just take this honey inside and. Um, so that they don't rob it. I'll put honey where it's needed as I go through these hives. And I'll be back. Alright, well I got through it all. And the bees are gone for whatever reason. This isn't a die off, but the bees just left. Um, don't have any reason what it is. You have to go online and you can read about honey bees and the problems that they're having. So I'll just take what's the honey from here, take it inside so nothing can get to it, and then um, um, just go ahead and move on. Got a helicopter flying really low. I don't know where he's going. I get distracted easily. <laughs> right Pat Air Force Base is that way. Uh, maybe, what, 60 or 70 miles? So, you get a lot of military traffic when it's, when it's happening. And there's been a lot more than usual lately. But anyhow, I digress again. I'm gonna go ahead and go into this one next. I think this one died too. But it's something I already figured. Um, this one here, um, I don't think it's dead. But this one's a crazy one. These two both died. They died last fall. So get these cleaned up. Some of these ones are still alive. But I don't need a whole bunch of them to be alive. By fall, I'll have 10 or 15 hives set up. And uh, we'll just let them go through winter again. And Strong survive and 
The weak die. I'll be back. Okay, I opened this one up. And this is the hive that died. You can see all the bees there on the bottom board. They just couldn't make it for whatever reason. Um, small cluster at the end of the year. Who knows what? Um, there's a little beetle, but it's not a small hive beetle. Um, just an American 